Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a contour map. We'll probably go with a uh, simple 8x8 grid and yeah I, th I think that's what we'll do for this video. So let's go, we'll go with a grid system. And then in these uh, boxes right here, you can enter any numbers you want. Um, I'll just do something like, oh, 150. Whoops. None of these numbers really matter. I'm just I'm just trying to get a grid of actual numbers to this number is a little low. We can go with 120 there. There we go. Okay. So uh let's make this look a little bit better. <clears throat> And uh, what the heck? We'll we'll do two decimal places for these. Okay, so highlight the selected range. Go to Insert Spider Tab. There's your contour map. I'll go with that. Whoops. So that's how you make a contour map. Uh, you're not going to see very much. You know. There's not going to be too much of a difference in this, simply because I was only going with uh, about 5 to 10 for increments. So this is going to be a pretty ordinary contour map. Uh, if I want, I could go... I could just type in some random numbers here. and These will kind of change the map around a little bit. So let's make this into a contour map. There we go. That looks a little bit different than the previous one. And that is how you make a basic contour map. Uh, my next video I will do a whoops I'll do a surrounding uh, boundary contour map and I'll show you a useful equation in case you're missing some of these numbers. Oops. Uh, yeah, let's assume let's assume you only had uh, these numbers on your grid. I will show you a an equation that will allow you to fill this in by copy and pasting. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.